right, so we're going to do an interior video uh, 5520 Weaver. So when you walk into the front entrance here, you do have a little entryway. The uh, door is getting caught on something here. Not sure what we're getting stuck on here, but it does not want to open all the way. Not being blocked even by the stopper yet, so it looks like it's running into the floor here and not wanting to open all the way. Okay, so again, this is our front entrance. Came back in. When you come to the right, you're going to enter into the kitchen breakfast room area. So this looks like a little breakfast nook. up top here. Things seems to be in pretty good shape in here. Got a little ceiling fan. And this leads right into the kitchen. Is the kitchen. Let's start up top here above the cabinets. So it looks like we've got one closet here that could be storage, pantry space, quite a few shelves in there. Okay. And you're opening for your refrigerator. And on the other side of that, you can see there is an identical closet. Looks exactly the same as the other one. More storage or pantry space. Okay. This is your oven stove top area. Microwave is above that. Got cabinets here. There is your sink. dishwasher, more cabinet space. All right, if we come back through the breakfast nook here, it opens up into a living space. Got some paneling in here, and I'm gonna let you guys see the carpet. Alright, 
so we've got a pretty good sized room here. Ceiling looks about the same as the other rooms we were just in. Nothing too concerning. Windows look all right. Lots of stains on the carpet though. So in this room, you've got two big windows on the front wall there. And there's also the entrance here to the garage. So here's the garage. Breaker box. Looks like your hookups here. Garage door. And your hot water heater. And your attic space. I think I'm gonna run out of battery on this one, so if it dies, we will pick it up again in a moment. All right, we're gonna head back in, back through the breakfast nook, back through the kitchen, and it takes us into the dining room, which is what gives you access out to the back screened porch. You've got carpet in here. Again, quite a few stains on the carpet. We've got a spot on the wall here that looks like an attemptive patch. Don't know if you can see that. Ceiling looks pretty good. And this is the entrance to the back porch. You've got a sliding glass door here. And the back porch. It's another entrance to the garage there on the other side. Do have a ceiling fan here. I'm going to point out this to you in the back corner here. This is carpeting out here on the back porch. Not looking so good. Looks like they've got it wired and mounted for a TV out here. Windows all look like they're in pretty decent shape. Don't see any major damage there. All right. We're going to go back in through the dining room and we have a living room in here. Ceiling fan. Again, don't see any major repairs on the ceiling or the walls. Carpet is what's mainly in bad condition in here. Lots of stains on the carpet. 
windows look good. Alright, so now we're back to the front entrance. This is where we came in at. I was showing you guys that I couldn't open the door. There is a hall closet here, small little front hall closet. Pretty decent size. Storage shelf up above. The floor down in here. All right, let's go see if we can see the bedrooms. So if we come down the hallway, we've got three bedrooms down here. Here is a security system. Got a light there. Your AC controls. So we have a bedroom here on the left, a bedroom straight in front of us. So we'll go to the left first. Got one bedroom here. The purple room. One big long window. And a closet. Double doors that fold open here. Storage shelf up above. And there's your flooring. Here's your doors as they shut. Kind of the same deal with the carpet in here. Carpet needs some repair, but ceiling looks pretty good again. Light fixture's been removed here. Okay, let's go into bedroom number two, the blue room. You've got two windows in here. So this is the one that faces the street. And then you've got another window over here onto the side of the house. Again, ceiling looks pretty good. No major concerns there. This room also has the same type of closet, so you've got the folding doors. A little bit of extra shelving. And those doors fold shut just fine, just like the other room. There's some of that carpet repair. <laughs> but again, the windows look pretty good. Don't see any major concerns with those. Got a little bit of a crack there at the base of the frame. Okay, so that's bedroom number two. We come back out of here again. You'll see that there is a bathroom on the left. And on the right here, we've got a nice big hall closet I'll show you in a minute. So here's your flooring in this bathroom. This definitely looks more updated than the other tile that we've seen in the house. toilet here and the tub shower combo light fixture here and your countertop ok 
cabinets below. All right, outside of this room is where we have that big, nice hall closet. Again, linen closet. Really nice, deep shelves in here. Got three shelves there and storage space below. These doors open and close, again, pretty well. No problem there. And this is the master bedroom. So, I'll give you a quick panoramic, just in case this battery dies on me. There's the bathroom, closet, window. Same story in here, the carpet's pretty bad. Everything else looks to be okay. Here's your windows. So again, this bedroom is at the back of the home, the back left of the home, so these windows are on the side of the house. Got one closet in here. Shelving all the way around it. And then of course, two clothing racks. Carpet down below. And let's go into the bathroom. Here's some of that carpet issue we've got here. All right, bathroom. Mirror's totally gone there. Light fixture's still intact. We've got our countertops here. One sink. Some cabinets below. Tile actually looks to be in decent shape. And bathroom here. Got your little toilet space. Window looks good. And the shower. about it. So that again is the interior of 5520 Weaver. Hope I said that address right. Oh, actually there is a little bit of a spot here on this ceiling. First thing I've seen on the ceiling since we've been in here. All the rest of the ceiling has looked pretty good. Okay, that's going to do it.